The delusional TikToker who thinks she's black. Bro, look at this chick. She claims to be a black chick and she's on TikTok acting like she's black. She might be insane. She might be black. Who knows? We're about to hop into this video. Shout out to the gang. Let's go. Good, Dark Knight Gang. I'm Neptune. Hey, bro, today I'm about to react to a video from Sunny V2. This one right here is titled The Delusional TikToker Who Thought She Was Black. What? Anyway, we're about to see some TikToker who thinks she's black. That kind of reminds me of that one chick that got uh, popular. What was her name? Whoa, Vicky. Remember Whoa, Vicky? She was like, I'm black. We all was looking at her like, bitch, if you don't shut up. Anyway, this kind of reminds me of that. So this chick, she's copying Whoa, Vicky, bro. She saw how Whoa, Vicky got hella clout. And she was just like, nigga, I'm about to hop on his wave too. Um, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm very happy to do the video. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a good day. Have a great day. It's Friday. Have a great weekend, my G. You guys know I'm going to Mexico on Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be fire. I'm going to be in Mexico for like five days. Anyway, let's hop into this video. Delusional TikToker who thought she was black. Shout out to the gang. Yeah, gang, gang. Let's go. She was either the dumbest, most delusional bimbo to ever set foot on planet Earth or the most bizarre TikTok troll of all time. Claiming to have a great, 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 great granddad who was black, as well as real DNA confirming that she was proudly and literally 0.9% Jamaican, Fanny made... 0.9% Jamaican, bro, and she's claiming black. She's 1% black, and she's claiming to be black. From that, let's keep going. Lee or the that reminds me, that's like the slave times. Didn't they used to say that? If you got 1% black in you, you black, you's a nigger. Carrie Bean Gyal, as she called herself, seemed pretty convinced that she could pass as black. You're a white boy and you love you some black women, please use this sound because sometimes we can't tell if y'all like black girls or not. However, when a couple of individuals dug up some old videos displaying her naturally she white skin white. color, yeah. all hell broke loose. The audience would be split up into two different groups. Those who found the content offensive stating that she was blackfishing and those who saw it as nothing more than a girl creating a bit of comedy to mask what seemed to be a severe tanning bed addiction, leading to one of the strangest, most controversial TikTok accounts before she would eventually be banned. Oh, she got banned? That is blackface? Uh, she is putting on blackface? Is it is is it for comedy though? She was first discovered in February two thousand and twenty one by a YouTuber and Twitch streamer called The Asher Show in a video titled "Meet the TikToker Who Thinks She's Black." She's African and spicy white. Tan lives matter. In this video, Asher talked briefly about the concept of blackfishing, a situation in which a person with light skin will attempt to appear as a black or racially ambiguous individual for their own personal gain. Classic examples include YouTubers like Wall Vicky, a white girl whose popularity exploded back in two thousand and seventeen after claiming that she was black. I'm sick and tired of telling y'all what freaking race I am. I'm black. B L A C K. End story. <laughs> black. Y'all yeah, never heard of light skinned? When Fannie Mae Lee first became popular on TikTok, this is what she was being accused of in comments such as, Colored girls are beautiful, yes, but you're not colored, baby girl. You're still beautiful, though. I know you don't mean to, but you're blackfishing. You are not black. 0.9% Jamaican does not make you black. Stop blackfishing. You will never amount to the black beauty of the black community. As well as, take this down. It's Black History Month. Stop blackfishing. She did that shit on black Fannie Mae History Lee didn't month. seem all that concerned about the backlash, yet would still respond to the accusations of blackfishing in a highly intelligent response reading, where do you see a fish? I'm literally a human bean. Now, while some comments <laughs> speculated as to whether or not Bean could have possibly uh... referred to her skin color, Bean, your skin color is the color of a baked bean. It was pretty obvious that this Caribbean girl had deliberately misspelled human being, and suddenly people realized that this whole thing might have potentially been a joke. That's I what I'm saying. The way she's spelling shit, you could tell 
this is a joke, bro. Everybody take everything so serious. Breathe. This account has to be some kind of social experiment because ain't no way this girl That's is That's what I'm saying. Hold up, it's wait a, a minute, something ain't right. I think it's the potential joke. joke of the whole thing will be highlighted even further when Fannie Mae Lee responded to certain comments such as, are you a cancer by any chance? If not, I guess you'll be one soon, XXXX. No, I'm a Sagittarius. You can't change star signs because it's when you were born. Do you by any chance have dyslexia? Who's dyslexia? Others who seemingly misunderstood <laughs> the entire thing was a meme, straight up defended oh. Fannie Mae Lee by stating that there was nothing wrong with getting a dark tan, then posting it to TikTok. Everyone's onto her for being black or black fishing, yet loads of girls, black or white, all want a tan and go on sunbeds. Fannie Mae Lee also built up a massive army of supporters consisting of people who genuinely disrespected her and thought she looked quite good in the TikToks that she posted. Am I the only one who thinks she's actually pretty? However, it was questionable as to how long this respect would last for after her audience discovered yet another piece of evidence proving that she wasn't really black. Depending on how you viewed the whole situation, the strangest, funniest, or most offensive part about the discovery that she was British was that in so many of her TikToks such as this one reading, you can't just tan every day then say you're black, she'd often display the South African flag despite living in the UK and apparently being a mix of Caribbean and Jamaican. Right? What does South Africa have to do with anything? From the audience. She was a girl living in Britain, <laughs> tagging Ireland, claiming to be Jamaican and oh Caribbean whilst God. using the South African flag in her videos, which was certainly lacking in continuity and confusing to say the least. Yet Fannie Mae Lee still didn't understand why she was receiving so much hate. She's a, she professional, a, video with she's a professional troll, bro. The caption reading, to be honest, I don't see what the this. issue is with embracing natural melanin, what comes out when I get sunbed, hashtag viral, hashtag black Barbie, which of course many would respond negatively to. Oh my gosh, disappear from my for you page. It's not the same. Black people went through the worst as slaves, now just getting shot at for no reason. No, you pay to get my skin tone. This is disgusting. My race is not a trend for you to play dress up. This is incredibly hurtful and racist to my community. How is it hurtful and racist just because she's... I'm gonna talk about it at the end. You aren't black, you're white, and black fishing just stop. You will never know their pain and understand their history. That is completely true. However, what she is doing is not hurtful at all. She's acting, so she's acting like she's a black chick, right? Is she going around acting stupid? Is she saying, this is how all black women act and acting, trying to be like ghetto and annoying? No, she's putting up TikToks, looking like a black woman, a young, pretty black girl at that. So what she's doing isn't hurtful. The hate Ooh, towards bro. Fannie Mae Lee would escalate even further after sharing a video of her pale younger self before she turned into the self-proclaimed Black Barbie. This is what she looked like before, and then it looks like she fell asleep in a tanning bed for 10 days. Another theory was that this whole thing wasn't even her idea and had been influenced by her friends, as she would upload a TikTok comparing her friendship group at the age of 13 to now, whatever age that happened to be, revealing that all her friends seemed to have this matching incredibly dark tan. Yeah, they the top all comment got exactly tans, exactly what bro. everyone was already thinking, there are more of them. <laughs> However, it wasn't only Fannie Mae Lee and her friends that were parading around with these excessively dark tans on TikTok. She'd often get comments from others replicating her style, such as this 16,000 follower account called Soggy Nick's Official, who described Description read, don't hate me cause you ain't me. I am not British, stop stereotyping me, thanks. Okay, she looks ridiculous at this point. <laughs> look at look at her tan, nigga. First off, her mom is doing way too much with the tan too. But look at this chick tan, bro. She's she darker than me, bro. Oh my god, what are you doing? Fish subreddit reading, this girl is white Irish, seen next to her white father and heavily fake tan mother, which received a comment stating, these people are Irish travelers and fake tanning and extreme fashion is a thing in their community. They're an insular community and nobody calls them out on anything, so nobody in her life is gonna say anything about black fishing. A traveler I knew explained the fashion to me. Female travelers have very little freedom or life outside their family. They generally don't work, go to college, and the treatment of women is like the 50s on steroids. Damn. Fashion is their hobby, a social outlet, their only creative freedom. Mm. However, the main problem that Fannie Mae Lee, as well as these other accounts had, was that they still tiptoed on the TikTok terms of service. They were susceptible to being banned. TikTok's community guidelines state that it's against their rules to dehumanize an individual or a group on the basis of the following protected attributes, race, ethnicity, and national origin. While the definition is incredibly vague and arbitrary, TikTok probably Hell kept yeah. it that way so they can get rid of people that they don't like without receiving any backlash. TikTok certainly has a reputation of banning people left, right, and center, often for incredibly petty reasons, so I'm sure they'd have no problem coming after 
some of these ultra tanned British white girls. It's what happened to one account by the name of Ebony Chelsea, whose description reads banned at 11k, which was probably an understandable ban when some of her videos state, me when a gorilla emoji tries to tell me I'm blackfish but she looks worse or darker than me. I'm a better black mm. Barbie than you Africans. Okay. Now, while you now that is going way too far. See what I'm saying? could probably argue that Fannie Mae Lee was less racist and seemed yeah. more concerned about having a laugh at the color of her tan. Others still demanded the same fate for her account with comments such as, how are you still not banned? Well, she eventually would be, but not before she do another GoFundMe campaign. No. This time claiming that she needed 920 pounds no. to help Fannie receive her skin change oh surgery. God. This time the description stated, from a very young age, I have been ridiculed for wearing tan, going to the salon on a weekly basis, wearing African clothes and playing with black Barbies. My mother put me up for adoption at the age of eight and I was adopted by a London family. I have lived here for nine years and I've never faced judgment here. I want to receive melanin treatment because it would save me money and end my body dysphoria. Well, this GoFundMe campaign seemed to be the last straw and she was banned yeah. shortly thereafter. However, this wouldn't be the end of Fannie Mae Lee. In December 2021, she would remake the account, titling her first video, oh Fannie Mae Lee is back and blacker than ever, <laughs> confirming the return of the Caribbean girl. In her description, she's opted to support Black Lives Matter instead of Tan Lives Matter and has so far racked up 13,000 followers, Yo, just I a few thousand see. less than the peak of her previous account. All right, bro, let's talk about this, this fuckery, you know? I have no other way to describe this, but let's talk about this fuckery. So this chick, she's white, living in London. She gets tanned and she plays as a black chick on TikTok. Here's my thing. She's not doing anything racist. She's not saying anything racist. It's, it's, it's harmless. And I think she shouldn't get banned. I'm going to be completely honest. I view it as harmless. She's not trying to portray black a black woman and making black women look bad that right there is racist that right there is basically saying this is how all black women act <laughs> she's not doing that this chick she gets tanned because she likes the way she looks she says she has body dysmorphia okay maybe she does and she feels like she's black so she gets tanned to look black but she's not talking shit about black people. You see what I'm saying? That's like if me, if I'm like, hey, I'm white and I start acting white, but yet I'm not talking shit about white people. It's like I'm putting on an act. I'm putting on a show. So at what point, at what point is this like creativity and this chick putting on a show just to gain TikTok followers? Or when does it cross the line to being racist? I think it crossed the line to being racist and being wrong. When she starts talking shit about black people and trying to make fun of black people. She's not making fun of black people. It's not like she has the tan and she's all black and she got a fake ass and she like, all black girls look like this. Like, you see what I'm saying? She's not making fun of black people. So it's not racist. So me, I take it more so as this is a parody. This is more so this chick expressing who she is, expressing her creativity. That's how I take it. I don't think it's racist at all. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know if you view this as racist. Let me know if this chick is just out of her mind crazy because she thinks she's black over here transracial. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, skin tone and your race, that shit don't matter anyway. That's a way to separate all of us because I'm going to keep it a stack with you. We're all just human beings at the end of the day. You being white, black, Mexican, it don't matter, bro. I'm a human. You're a human. That's all that matters. Just because our ancestors lived on different parts of the earth and I might have more melanin melanin than you. We're still human beings, bro. We share like 97% of the same DNA. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this video down in the comments. Is this chick insane? Is she doing this just for fun? Is she a racist? Let me know. This was a great video, man. Shout out to Sunny V2 for another great video. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a good day. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Peace. To the track,